Breaking the Wall of Type 1 Diabetes. Nermin Youssef, University of Alberta, Canada. By a show of hands, how many people here in this room enjoy being poked with needles? Anyone? Well, I certainly don't. And I know that more than 30 million type 1 diabetic patients don't as well. But for them, it's a daily reality. Insulin injections at least three times a day, every single day. But what if I told you that in the next few years, we can replace needles with this? Let me explain. In type 1 diabetes, the body cannot synthesize insulin, so patients have to rely on external insulin injections in order to level their blood sugar. But even with the presence of advanced blood sugar sensing devices, we still get fluctuating levels of blood sugar, and that is not really appropriate for curing that disease. However, um, an alternative to that was uh, the Edmonton Protocol that was pioneered by the University of Alberta. And uh, basically, it's transplanting cells from healthy pancreases to patients of type 1 diabetes, but it's complicated by graft rejection. And the patients have to be on immunosuppressants, basically for life, which in the long run can be quite toxic. So there comes our idea. It's to build up on the Edmonton Protocol. And we all know what that is, fat. We really don't like it, and we all have some to spare here and there. But the neat thing about fat cells is that they already have the machinery that helps them produce certain hormones. So what we're going to do is that we're isolating fat cells from type 1 diabetics, genetically engineering them so that they can produce insulin specifically and that they're sensitive to blue light specifically. And I think Dr. Moteri has convinced you enough in the past session that light can go through certain uh, tissue. And we'll um, transplant them back into the patients, and once we do so, you're not expected to get any immune rejection, right? When we shine blue light on those uh, grafted cells, they're stimulated to release insulin. However, if you want to go sunbathing, for example, the risk of you going into sudden hypoglycemia is not there, because the other spectra of light will shut off this mechanism. Uh, I'm pleased to say that we've already done the experiments for the proof of concept, and we're currently patenting this technology. But we envision that in the future, uh, our technology will be paired with the latest wireless blood sugar sensing devices that will read your blood sugar, send it to a, an app on your mobile phone. This app will calculate how much insulin you'll need, and this will translate to how many pulses of blue light you need to get. And with that, our technology can provide needle-free and much tighter uh, blood sugar control. And that is how we plan to break the wall of type 1 diabetes. Thank you.